I wish we had a Starbucks brand deal. But you know what? There was a situation in the Starbucks that somebody's going around on all these radio shows talking about how I saw them in Starbucks and I didn't acknowledge them and I turned around and walked out of the Starbucks That's me. without even making eye contact with this person because I don't have any respect for them. And I, if, I, if somebody fucks over one of my friends, I don't even make eye contact with them. I don't. <clears throat> Hi, Jeff. It's me, Trish, the person that you can't name. Uh, he goes on, we'll, we'll keep it going, but hi, it's me, Trish, that person you don't respect. Um, guess what? I have actually zero respect for you. Um, literally, you just piggybacked off David, and once David moves on or doesn't need you in the vlogs anymore, like so many other people he's done, you two will be irrelevant. You're lucky you have a little podcast and all that cute stuff, so at least I say your name. But let's keep going because he, he tries to get real tough here that person i'm not gonna fake a, a handshake to avoid an awkward situation i actually thrive it's not faking a handshake it's a hello i did nothing to you you have no fucking clue what happened between me and jason me and david you were around for maybe a month at the time we probably saw each other twice there's there's no even need to like say hello or anything but the fact that you left like a little punk like you left your drink and your sandwich and you can't even say maybe you're scared okay like you could at least say my name be like hey trisha i don't you know what? if you said trisha i don't respect you you're talking about me <laughs> let's keep going <sighs> i saw this and i was like oh this is it didn't david teach you like he teaches all his little squad members to not respond that's what you guys do you're not supposed to respond to drama I know you reached out to Mike and Logan and you wanted to make it cool and I'm sure that's what David told you to do, but watch, this will be this will be deleted real soon, I guarantee. David doesn't want this drama. David doesn't like when people bring up sticky situations. I'm go I have awkwardness. I have a lot more to say, so just stay tuned, but we'll react to this. And I like to make it more awkward, so maybe something will come out of it that I can make a big fucking joke out of. Because I like that shit. I'm I'm a you like the shit, you like making it awkward, you like making a big fucking joke out of it. So do I. It's why I talk about it on all the podcasts because I was like, everyone says Jeff is so tough. Oh my God, Jeff went to prison. He's so tough. Like, I'm scared of Jeff. You left your coffee and your little egg sandwich there once you saw me in a Starbucks. It's not about saying hi. I was like, oh my God, he didn't say hi to me. It's like, you left like a little bitch because I was in a Starbucks that you were in. <laughs> but he's like, I love making things awkward. Oh, you do? Well, say my name. Say my name. Say it. I love making things awkward too. Say my name. If you really don't respect me that much and I fucked over one of your friends, say my name, Jeff. And don't even get me start up. Mm. <laughs> okay. We're gonna keep going. Name by it. It's Not me. Just, Look at Jeff. We got a small circle, man. We got a small circle. Mm -hmm. If you fucked over one of my friends, I'm not gonna see you out and pretend like, oh, hey, how you doing? Just to avoid that little awkward moment. I'm gonna make it more awkward. Because you fucked over my friend. Jeff! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy someone, I'm so happy someone made a fucking video about this. I fucked over what, oh, how did I fuck over your friend? Please tell me. Please tell me how I fucked over one of your friends. Are you talking about David or are you talking about Jason? Who, look, pl please tell me how I fucked over one of your friends. Please. I would love to know this. So, did I fuck over one of your friends by, oh, or is it Brandon? The one who was dating an underage girl and in David's vlog asked the underage girl how sex was with a 24 year old man when she was 17 years old and it wasn't a bit. Oh, I fucked them over because he was messing with an underage girl? Or are you talking about the David incident where I called him like evil because me and Jason were still friends up until May 8th, three months after that whole ordeal happened. But I wasn't allowed to park near his house because David and crew, he's like, oh, no one can know we're friends because because I, cause I called out and I called them out. I, I fucked over your friends because David 
and Jason both made continuously made jokes about a threesome that I wasn't comfortable with about a child. Tana Monjo was fucking 19 years old about a child. About an actual like 46 year old man having sex with a 19 year old. And it was a joke I was uncomfortable with. I told him off camera. I didn't like it. But, and they kept making the joke. And David kept making the joke over and over and over. And I told him I fucking hated that fucking joke, David. And so he, I called him evil for it because he's fucking evil. He told Jason he had to break up with me because we made a video saying it was, it was fucking David's fault. Because he, that night Tana Mosho came over. He wanted us to go like in a room and pretend like we were a threesome. Tana was with a guy, a boyfriend at the time. And she's like, I'm not comfortable with that. I wasn't comfortable with that. And David kept pushing it like a freaking evil little bitch. He kept pushing it. Oh, come on, go in there. Oh, Jason can just take off his shirt. Or maybe you guys will kiss. No, And we kept repeatedly saying we're not comfortable with that. We don't want to do that. And I've, it never even happened. He had to edit it together to make it look some sort of way. Is that why I fucked over your friend? Because I wouldn't let him like use my relationship. Is that, or, or are you talking about Jason? Did I fuck over Jason? Which was also a fake relationship. The minute David told him to dump me, I get dumped. After spending a year together with him and his children and building an actual relationship or what I thought was a relationship. Is that how I fucked, is that how I fucked your friend over? Is that why you want to make it awkward and you have no respect for me? You have no respect for me because I stand up for myself because I'm a fucking girl. Because I, I can say I'm not comfortable with a fucking joke that a fr that your friends made at my expense and has zero remorse for. David and you, Jeff, you fucking Jeff came to the fucking hospital the night I went to the mental hospital. You dumb fuck. <laughs> I have said for so long that I didn't want to kill myself. It was an accidental thing that I took pills and alcohol, but I fucking did that night. <laughs> And you were fucking there. You guys were all fucking filming. And came to the hospital. I, I told Jason to not come, but definitely did not want David there. And you were in the fucking waiting room as well. David left the hospital tonight. He never fucking said another word to me and attempt to cut me off. And I had to hide. Me and Jason had to hide our fucking friendship or whatever the fuck we were after for three months. Because you all... Because David did not want me in the fucking friend group. Because I made a video about an uncomfortable incident that happened to me in my relationship. You don't fucking know shit, Jeff. You don't know fucking shit. Now you're gonna just laugh at it? Oh, because I like to make things fucking awkward and shit? I'll talk about you all day long and I'll say your fucking name because I'm not a little bitch about it. Don't ever say I fucking disrespected one of your friends. Your friends have so much shit and blood and dirt in their fucking back pocket on their hands. It's disgusting. Including your friend Todd. And Dom in that group too, sexually assaulting a girl, holding her down at VidCon two years ago. You all have dirt. You all have dirty, dirty past and dirty, dirty things happening right now. So don't fucking come for me and say I'm disrespecting your shit. Sorry, I'm sorry. Now I can't just go around assaulting everybody because then I'd be in jail. <laughs> okay, you wanna assault me? Okay, go for it. Like, if that's, if that's where your head goes, whatever. Fucking who cares? It's not the right thing to do. We just like to make things awkward. We get a nice little thing to talk about on the podcast. But I don't know how getting dissed... You like making things awkward. What did I What did I do? Like, literally, what did I do to you? Don't say because I disrespected one. I fucked over one of your friends. Are you fucking kidding me? Your fucking friends is the reason I was in a fucking mental hospital. That this year has been the worst year of my life. That everybody still fucking hates me. I've been on YouTube 13 years and I'm sure as hell I'm not going anywhere just because I'm like fucking little punk is popular right now. Like fuck that shit. You are lucky. You are fucking lucky. You're like suck, suck that teeth, Jeff. Suck it so dry because you're fucking 30 years old and you are known as being like a good looking one. You're not funny. You don't get shit on your own. You don't get views on your own. You don't you, uh, soak up those brand deals because it's going to last you a year. I've seen it come and go. It's going to last you a year. So count your blessings, Jeff. Starbucks is content for some people. I've heard it on like multiple radio shows now and I'm getting tagged in it on Instagram. So it's like, why not just fucking come out and say it? So come out and say it. Trish, you fucked over Jason. I would, I would like, come out and say it. <laughs> I hate men that just have to like, <laughs> I'm like going to laugh and make this a joke. And like, I love making things awkward. I'm going to make things awkward. Why? To be a little dick. Okay. 
I remember, ask your friend Jason, because he said you brought it up the next day. Ask your friend Jason. I called him that day and I said, I felt so horrible. I was like, oh my God, does Jeff hate me? Like, why Why do people hate me? Like, he, did, you know, I saw him at Starbucks and he just left. He had to like, his drink order and he didn't even like pick up his drink. He just like literally scooted out the back. You couldn't just pick up your drink. You don't have to say hi to me. You don't have to look at me. You, you can't just pick up your drink in a, in a Starbucks. If you want me to really start talking about y'all on podcasts, I have some stories. I was trying to make it like lighthearted by showing what little punks you guys are, including this little shit. Hey, stop telling the story about how you got abused in Starbucks and I just left. And I never said I got abused, you dumb shit. Like literally the dumbest person I know. Like why don't you like go fucking back to high school or some shit. Like you're literally the dumbest person I've ever met. Even when we were in this group, I was like, this guy gives me a bad vibe, not funny, annoying. And if you don't exist. Because that's not cool. Speaking of awkward situations, I didn't hear that. I'm the hard. other day, why not just fucking come out and say it? Hey, stop telling the story about how you got abused in Starbucks and I just left and pretended you don't exist. I don't care that you didn't. Pre I'm like, oh, what a little bitch. Like, you're fucking so. You just had to, like, you had to dip out. And you told Jason the next day, you're like, oh man, it was awkward. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say or do. Don't lie. Don't lie, you little bitch. And by the way, your friend Scott here, that's a co host. Saw me at the Keenan JC house. Was said, "Hey Trish, how you doing?" Like, okay, you want to get involved, Jeff? You want to get involved? You know how much shady shit is out on you? Are you fucking kidding me? You're you're a disgusting dirtbag. Like, honestly, you're the grossest. You'll be out real quick. You'll be out real quick. So just keep sucking that David T for as long as you can. I know he's a little like thirsty for people to be in the vlogs right now because he's a fucking disrespectful little prick your little friend that i'm disrespecting i'll call his name out david Dobrik, the worst uses 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 and then was like oh if you're not good anymore get her out of the group oh like oh jason and you are dating okay jason get rid of her <laughs> there's a reason liza dumped his ass and after he got dumped was a little bitch just turned to pure evil because he knows he'll never find someone like her he knows he'll never find a decent girl that's not after his freaking money good luck all of you and fuck all of you